my channel. Merry Christmas, okay? Uh, I hope you guys are spending time with your families, loving on the people that love you, and uh, being careful with Corona because that bitch is a real, she, she's fucking real. But I don't have long today because like you, hopefully you guys are spending time with your family. You know, I'm in Arizona with my mom, so I can't be on here all day because she's a black mom and she will call me and cuss me out, okay? So, <clears throat> we're going to get started. Um, let's see, because I, I used my other lighter to smoke earlier. Oh, okay, okay. I got you, I got you, G. All right, so we have the white and black and gold marble. Okay. Oh, y'all can't see. There you go. We got, oh, we got two of the ugly ones. Oh. Mm. They gave me two of those. Ugh. Okay, let's use the cocoa butter because, you know, my lips got to stay, you know, more stressed. So, we're going to do the ugly big lighter. Mm-hmm. All right. Then we're going to do the cocoa butter, which is the best lip balm. All right. So, pick the palette that best resonates with your energy. Make sure you go with your first mind because your first mind is your best mind. I have personal readings on my website, thelovemealways.com. I am on Instagram at QueenSandraXO, Twitter, QSandraXO, on Patreon, which is where all my sexual readings are. And the reason why I can't be on this video for too long, because I have to also do Patreon as well. This reading is what is God, what is Spirit bringing to you for Christmas, what energy Spirit is bringing to you for Christmas. And the reading on Patreon is what is Spirit bringing you for the new year. Okay, so we're going to get started. Hi, Pal A. Okay, Pal A. What is Spirit bringing, Pal A, for uh, what energy for Christmas? <clears throat> what energy are you bringing to these people for Christmas, Spirit? For Pal A, what you bringing to them for Christmas? Because it's Christmas time. Ah, I just... I. I fucking broke my nail yesterday and I broke it to the meat and it's, it was bleeding. Oh, it hurts so bad. Uh, don't wait. I mean, don't wait. Wait. Rest. Ooh, have faith. Mmm. <clears throat> Some of you guys are going to be either in a motherly energy or in, or getting love from your mama. So this is probably my pal because my mama, she's my favorite mama, okay? Um... I think that you guys are going to be in the energy of, like, kind of believing more. Uh, I think Christmas time is going to kind of ramp up your belief system. Maybe you're going to see something or feel something that you haven't felt in a long time. That's going to give you faith in having whatever you desire, you know. Uh, I feel like Spirit is going to give you a lot of rest. So if you guys have been working really hard, Spirit is like, today is the day that you're going to get as much rest and as, as much peace as possible. I feel like uh, truly, maybe you will probably be even listening to music and music will help you to feel good. Um, I feel like your business, if you have a business, your business might be doing well or you might get inspired to start a business or something about your business is going to be prominent for Christmas time, but it's going to be a good energy. Um, I feel like Spirit might even be sending you some signs and some signals to let you know something. But they're saying after, like, I think after your new year, you're going to have a new energy in your workplace. In your, uh, yeah, I think it's your workplace, yeah. Yeah. Your workplace as well as your um, self-improvement. Um your quality to how you take care of yourself i feel like your energy is about to shift on how you feel about you and the things that you can do your possibilities yes there it is that's why i'm saying that okay because it's saying you're more powerful than you realize it's safe for you to be powerful i think you're going to be spending quiet time alone realizing that you can have whatever you want because it's saying that you're going to be in the energy of feeling like you don't need to settle anymore. Like, maybe you, some some of you guys are going to be coming out. I see, how can I say this? You know, I'll be stumbling over my words, so i got to slow down. Because it's me and spirit talking, so imagine two people trying to talk at once. Um, <laughs> I feel like, this is what i see. seen. i seen you going through a yellow light and being pushed out like being you're being birthed. So, I feel like you guys are about to come get over or come over or move through a really big cycle i feel like 2021 might be a good year for you at least the beginning because you know shit <laughs> energy can flip in a minute but i think you're like you're about to get into you're about to start glowing and you, as well as when you come through that yellow birth canal you're getting coated with all that yellow beautiful energy 
So I think you're, uh, yeah, you're going to be great. It's a lot of empowering type of energy that's coming up. Spirit, what do you want to tell how, hey, because I can't be on this for too long, too much longer. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Have faith. Yes, faith is a big thing. I think your faith is about to be restored if it wasn't before. If you've been lacking in your spirituality, trying to find guidance, feeling lost, uh, spirit is giving you some type of information about your path, about the path that you're about to be on, which is a beautiful thing. So I think your faith is about to be ramped up, which is excellent, actually, because uh, what is it? Um, faith of a mustard seed, right? Can move mountains. Um, it's like I be wanting to, to talk about the Bible so bad, but <laughs> gotta read that bitch in whole to be able to know. <laughs> and I do not have the time. Um, let's see, get weight off your chest, speak up and be heard, open communication, do what you feel is right. Major spiritual changes are unfolding. I, I definitely agree. I feel like Spirit is saying, like, your dreams and visions, our goals are becoming more. Uh, more of a reality all you need to do is really stay focused because like challenges that were in your life before are gone they're about to leave now uh you're about to move into your true self uh drama all that karma shit everything that was bad in karma has be wow that's that's the reason why you're over your cycle you know i was saying like something new like you're about to be pushed out that's because you have um all your karmas all your bad karma is gone so you can start a new cycle beautiful and that's probably what's going to help your faith to be restored because you're going to feel open. <laughs> that's good. So um, what spirit is bringing you for Christmas is a new dawn, a new day. That's pretty much it, which is actually very good. <laughs> a big major spiritual change. Like things that you've been trying to work on and get started and, you know, happen is going to happen now. Okay? Because you have moved beyond karma. You are going to get some type of... You're about to be on your path. Beautiful. So if this made any type of sense, pal, hey, I'm sorry. This is not like a long reading, but I got things to do today. And I just wanted to give you something to make you feel good. Um, so let me know what you think about this. And I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Hi, pal B. Okay, honey. Let's see what God is, what spirit is bringing you for Christmas, Tim. Oh, they want me to get this one. Excuse my pink robe. Don't judge me. Okay. I love my pink robe. <laughs> for Pal B, what is spirit bringing Pal B for Christmas? For Christmas then, what are you bringing them? I've heard some of you guys are going to really get some good time with your family. Be safe, though. So, for Pal B, what is going on? What is spirit bringing them uh, for Christmas? Oh, 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 Pal B, I'm so happy for you, sis, okay? Look, Spirit is saying you are about to come out of poverty. You're about to be, come out of feeling left out in the cold. You are about to come out of pinnacles being unsure, bills being unpaid, things being anxiety. Because <laughs> I know I get anxious, okay? Um, and you're about, and you're about to get out of the cycle of even waiting for your money to come. Like, money's coming. Spirit, what are you bringing these people for Christmas. So some of y'all about to get some money for Christmas. Spirit. <clears throat> what are you giving how be for Christmas? Oh, your intuition. You know what I just heard? I heard that you are about to get some insight on how to make some more money. Like Spirit is about to uh, give you a download on how to be able to make more money for yourself. Which is always a wonderful thing. Always a wonderful thing. Yes, moving into better energy. Moving out of heartbreak and pain. Actually, you know what it is? Yes. Oh, one more for me. Oh, I got a whole bunch of more for me. Hold on. Oh, some of you guys are definitely the empress, honey. We're going to put that at the top. Empress energy is fertile energy. So regardless if you're a male or female, you want that empress energy. Because she creates, okay? She creates and doesn't destroy. Oh, what is this tower card, though? Reconstruction. Tower card means both ways. Oh, okay. All right. Huh. 
Well, okay, so right off the bat, I feel like um, this actually kind of shifted a lot. <laughs> but I feel like some of you guys are actually about to come out of poverty, as well as some of you guys are about to move out of an energy of feeling like you don't have the love that you desire. But see, the thing is, I don't know if it's going to be like, one person that's coming towards you uh i don't see one person i see multiple people coming at you there might be someone who of significance but i truly feel like you about to you about to enjoy yourself okay now i'm not telling everybody doesn't have to go through a whole phase you don't have to fuck every man that comes into your life or every woman okay but i do feel like and for the ones that do girl enjoy yourself but i do feel like Spirit is bringing you options. I feel like you're about to reconstruct your self-esteem and the way you view yourself. Um, oh, I, you know I'm out of town, so I don't have all my cards. I just got sad. Um, is this about the love life, Spirit? Spirit is saying somebody's about to get somebody new that's going to flip them upside down. Okay. It's the energy that you've been seeking. I think you're about to go out of sadness and go into something something new. So is this options or is this one person? Some options, but I feel like really, truly, it's going to be more than two. Or it's going to be two or more people that you've been probably wanting. Or like you're about to meet somebody new or exercise. It's something about you having options in love. But there is about to be somebody significant significant that's going to uh, make you feel like a lady or make you feel like a man, okay? Okay, so tell me about this before we go. Tell me about this before we go. What is going on? What is spirit bringing in? And it's happiness. I feel like some of you guys know this person. So if you've been feeling left out in the cold and waiting on somebody, you know, just trying to fucking heal from the past and shit because, ugh. Uh, from the damage from the relationship, I feel like an ex is like an ex is coming back. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> somebody that you probably had some unrequited energy from. Maybe someone who was friends with benefits, like an open type of thing. Uh, maybe somebody who had those red flags. Um, but you know what? I okay. So we know it's ex. I want to know what are you here for? Are you here to, to create? Or are you here to destroy? What do you want? Look, I tell men that. I be asking. You got to ask these niggas what they want. Like, what are you here for? What do you want from me? You want to fuck? Or you want to get to know me? Like, be honest. Give me an option, honey. Give me an option. Because if I fall for the okie doke, I'm going to be mad and I ain't going to never talk to you again. Keep an open mind and chemistry. Yeah, this person want to have sex with you. <coughs> Let's see. They want to flirt with you. They want to they wanna come in very soon, so, so you might hear from this person. I feel like when this person, I feel like you're about to come out of a waiting energy. This is an ex, I told you. And hold on one second. <coughs> Excuse me. I gotta get off, cause I ain't about to be spending our time. Yeah, you're about to come out of separation with a soulmate. So what do you want, soulmate? What do you want, real, real quick, what do you want? To stay optimistic, worth the wait, because there's been some deception, new love. You're going to get a new person, too. Playfulness. Yeah, somebody's about to get a new person. Somebody, this person might be a little bit younger than you, but have a very youthful energy. Um, this person wants to talk about your relationship, and I think this person wants to see you again, spend some time with you. That's pretty much it, pal B. So, you're about to get two people, actually. <laughs> I, I feel like some of you guys, you know, beautiful. Well, all of you guys are beautiful, to tell you the truth. But some people have that charisma that they can go out and give more than, oh, yeah. If you can talk, you can get a lot of people. But for the ones who are my introverts, okay, I think that you're about to get options still, honey. So, it's always good to have options, right? Because if you didn't have options, you wouldn't have peanut butter and jelly, right? Because that's two different things, okay? <laughs> but uh, two, you might have, look, cherry jelly, strawberry jelly, blueberry jelly. Look, it's options. But for your ex, I think this person wants to come and reconnect some chemistry with you. They want to come and have some fun with you. As well as this new person wants to come and have some fun with you. And then you have the sun card. You're about to get into the energy of having fun. Now, I don't know if both these people are going to contact you today. 
but I do feel like the energy is coming of you about to have more than one person and you about to really enjoy yourself <laughs> you're about to have some fun okay so for pal b ooh, ooh, if this makes any type of sense to you pal b please let me know and i'll talk to you guys in the next pal one c. okay so for pal c you wants to know how why what is god bringing you what is spirit bringing you for christmas right spirit what are you bringing what are you bringing pal c for christmas Christmas, 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 because it's Christmas motherfucking time. Okay. So what are you bringing healthy for Christmas? Family, love. Mm, legacy. Family, well, generations. Oh, you about to spend time with your family. Okay. Okay. All right. Taking leaps of faith, trying to make it work, working hard, dedicating yourself to your efforts. Oh, another career. Oh, mm, mm, mm. Mm, a career opportunity, inspiration, fire, success, connections, things making sense, planting seeds. All right, mm. planting seeds, getting your garden together, indecision for things to move fast. You be not an indecision. Like if you've been waiting for like some type of uh, see, this is like just go oh, wait, hold on, spirit. What is this? Love or money? For the love of money, okay? Love or money. Money, 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 money. Oh, sorry, that's tobacco. That's tobacco. Okay. Oh shit, you son of a great look. Get your fuck together. Good oh. Pal C spirit, what are you bringing Pal C for Christmas time? I think that you're about to have some type of success in your life. Palsy, what are you bringing Palsy for Christmas? They bring you a sign. You definitely got a sign. And this tree is legacy, family, wealth, generations, like the Ten of Pentacles, the Rose, moving, love, things moving in fast motion, definitely. Uh, you have the evil eye twice. You're getting some wisdom, a new transformation, toothpaste, cleanliness, a feather. You're getting a lot of um, signs. Pay attention to them, please. Uh, some fast moving. That reminds me of the night of source. Things moving fast and you have your angels around you. You have a lot of things. First of all, you have a lot of things that are speeding up. A lot of things that are speeding up. Um, I feel like you have a lot of protection around you, but I will also, since I see the third eye, I mean, the third eye, the, um, oh, what is that goddamn shit? You know, I'll be, my memory is so bad. Evil eye. You have the evil eye. Um, I think that you should, um, watch who you talk to, watch the people you around, watch who you tell your hopes and your dreams to. Just make sure that, you know, everybody that's around you is truly, truly for you. I feel like you do definitely have some love that's coming towards you as well. Maybe a new person, a new connection. But I feel like you have a lot of spiritual growth that's happening too. A lot of wisdom. I think that you're about to make some type of fortune for yourself that's going to last for your family, for generations. Maybe even take care of the family that's here now. Uh, I feel like you have a lot of different signs that's coming towards you, a lot of different wisdom that's trying to um, come at you because you have feathers. You know, an angel, oh, this, no, this is an angel, and your angels are definitely around you. Probably that's who's giving you the signs, of course. What else, spirit? Some of you guys might end up traveling as well or maybe buying a new car. Choose to forgive in order to heal. See the light. Oh, remember that love has no boundaries. Honor your sensitivity. Retreat to heal. Express your driving passions. Stay connected to this earth. Infinite abundance. And move beyond drama. Your thoughts are magnetic. So watch what you think. But for Christmas, spirit is bringing you the energy of a new passion. And there it is right there. I was trying to figure out, I'm like, what the fuck is it? Is it a person or is it a thing? Is it a person or is it a thing? Is it love or is it work? Both. I think that if you've been wanting money, you're about to get money. If you've been wanting a relationship, you're about to get a relationship. But honestly, I feel like you're about to get both. 
um, something that's going to last though. This is going to be like long term energy. So whatever you want, whatever you've been asking for, it's long term. It's going to last for a minute. And you've been getting a lot of knowledge. So use your knowledge to make it work. Okay. But I feel like uh, Spirit is saying it. Choose to forgive in order to heal. So make sure that you're healing from your past. Understand you have a lot of spiritual uh, support and make room for good energy, you know? Uh, make sure you're staying grounded. Make sure you're paying attention to that sensitive energy. Uh, and I think you're about to get you some sex too, to be honest. <laughs> uh, if you've been trying to manifest someone new, something new, some more money, you're about to get it, definitely. And I think that it is definitely this, whatever you're asking for is coming from the gift, from your gift. It's coming from you asking for this, manifesting this. Look, you already know what you seek. So, yeah, 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 yeah. So this is good. Uh, I think Spirit is giving you a wish that you've been asking for. Something that you've been manifesting. So, pal, see, I was about to tell you, happy birthday. For some of y'all, happy birthday. But <laughs> Merry Christmas, okay? And I'll talk to you guys in the next one.